Hello, everybody. This is Painting 2, the Mixed Media Project. Um, and in this one, it says, the mixed media is a unique art form because you can't isolate it as drawing, painting, or sculpture. And it's a bit of everything. And on this one, we're kind of tipping our toe into it by creating these more of a miniature, you know, kind of uh, kind of paintings, similar to what we did in painting one when we did oil paintings, um, when we did the five by seven pieces. Um, this time it's eight by 10. Um, I want you to create two of them and you are gonna see what you can kind of come up with. Um, we are gonna, you, you don't have to put a backing on this one because since they are eight by 10, we'll use kind of uh, traditional photography um, frames that I'm gonna go over at the Dollar Tree. Um, so you don't have to put a back on there. You don't worry about framing. Um, it's kind of a, one of the nice things. Um, your frame could actually, if you wanted to, which is just because it's a buck, um, could actually be part of your design. Um, so when I look at these examples, um, for example, like this one, you know, they really go in and they, they add um, like twigs and like uh, pine cones um, to there and stuff like that. So if you want to see if you can branch out beyond that, that's fine. Just let me know and I can give you you know, give you the frame and then you can just keep it at that point. Um, kind of going back a little bit, uh, cause I jumped ahead is, is like mixed media. So what, what exactly is mixed media? You're really trying to combine, um, different types of art medium, um, together. Um, and I know there are some high schools, like in larger school districts, they actually have like classes that are called mixed media, um, because it is such a large, you know, um, all encompassing kind of kind of an art form. Um, we, we already kind of do a little bit of mixed media in some projects, like in our uh, drawing three class, um, we do a project called the wrapped object um, and you're using colored pencil and pencil and, and Sharpie and stuff like that. So they're all traditional, um, you know, 2D, you know, kind of kind of materials that, that, are, that are flat. You know, they're just, they're just color, they're just, you know, art material that you just color with. Um, for your assignment, um, I want you to push a little more onto the sculptural side of things. Okay. Um, you don't have to go all out like, you know, like the one right there, you know, having twigs and stuff like that, but there should be a definite, um, you know, raised sections, you know, that are, that are, that are on here. And there's lots of ways to do that. Um, in terms of your layering paper, um, I have the stuff called like uh, pl like plaster gauze um, that you could put down and 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 uh, mold, you know. And then when it dries, it's it's real hard. Um, if you've taken sculpture one, um, our walk skin animal uh, project, you know that's what that is. Or if you've ever broken an arm, you know they they wrap it in this in this plaster stuff. Um, so that's a that is an easy way. There are hundreds of examples of different kind of mixed media um, that are out there. Um, when you look at this one, this one's kind of an interesting one um, because they just take these random random bits, um, like corrugated um, board, there's some twine there, um, some flowers and stuff like that. Um, and then they somehow gesso the whole thing so it's it's all, all, all together, probably some kind of a Mod Podge, probably, you know, painted all black. Um, maybe they, and then they might add these metallics on it and try to wash, wash that down, you know, and there's lots of different ways that you can kind of start bringing this in. Uh, what brings up, we have spray paint. You know, you can even kind of use that if you can kind of figure out a way to do that. So there's tons of tutorials that are out there. We're limited, you know, like anything else. We're just a high school in terms of how much, you know, scrapbooking, you know, kind of things. I know a number of the ones I've seen have like stickers, although I do have stickers that are puff stickers. Um, just ask me. <laughs> I can show you what I got. Um, but, you know, but but there's just like I said, there's just a lot of things out there. So so I'm excited about this one. I think I think this is a, a good way that we're kind of continuing to expand the department, you know, in terms of just another way of creating our work, you know, that we've been neglecting. Um, looking down here, you know, it's pretty generic. You, you, there's no there's nothing on here that I'm asking you to, you know, demonstrate your ability on before you jump into the project. Um, as of right now, if I change that, I'll, I'll change the video um, going down here, you know. 17 points, you know, or like more than a third of your grade is based on the the sculptural elements, you know, side of things. Um, so how are you bringing in that, that, that 3D element in, you know, strong painting elements, you know, 18% there, you know, and there's some flexibility on that. Um, so you just have to just 
to have to kind of talk to me about stuff. Um, you know, and then completed piece has good color choices um, and excellent craftsmanship. So that's the bulk of your grade. Um, and then you'll have all your um, your your prompt will be on the art Sonia prompt will be on art Sonia and and obviously you get a photo of it and stuff like that. So um, so that's the gist of it. Um, like I said, if you type in mixed media um, and you look at I get on YouTube and stuff, you'll find lots of stuff. So um, hopefully that makes enough sense to get you at least started um, to kind of start looking for right different ideas. And like anything else, just email me or talk to me in class if you have any questions. Okay.